Hello, Plant Tribe, and welcome back to another exciting installment of Plants, Paws, and Whatnots. You're just trying it on. I should probably take it off. Okay, so today I'm actually working on a project for a friend of mine. Um, they do like a secret Santa sort of thing. Uh, she's a teacher. She works at a school, um, a French immersion school, which I think is super cool and really admirable. <laughs> it's a lot of children in a different language. That would be crazy. <laughs> um, so anyway, I digress. They are doing a secret Santa and she has asked me to create a succulent planter for the person that she got um, as a secret Santa person to give the gift to. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so um, she picked the pot, I picked the succulents, and we're going to go ahead and see what we can create today. <sighs> yeah. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, by all means stick around and check it out. Okay, so first I'm going to show you what all I've picked out and why. Um, so this is the pot that she has chosen. Um, now I did stress to her the fact that this doesn't have a drainage hole. However, she tells me that the person that she is giving this to does like plants. She does know quite a bit about plants and um, <clears throat> so she will know how to take care of this. Also. Because it's a winter planter, um, our thought process is that she will be changing this out come spring. Um, if you do watch this, please change this out come spring. Um, succulents do not like to sit in water and although we will be putting some rocks in the bottom, um, it's not an ideal situation. So there's that. So here is the pot, which is super cute. It's a little teapot, a little winter teapot. Um, we do have um, some rocks for the bottom just to kind of create that drainage layer, which I actually never really do, but <clears throat> we're going to do it for this one. <laughs> I have all of my little succulent tools, so I have my little, my little air blowy thing. I have, um, so this part is usually used for like poking holes to get roots down into, then you have your little shovely thing all technical terms. I have a very soft paintbrush um, for dusting off the leaves should the air not work. Um, I have this little thing uh, in case I need it. I have tweezers. Um, also tweezers are really great when you're working with succulents because a lot of time you'll come across very um, small hard to reach you know trying to tuck things in and whatnot. So a pair of long tweezers are actually really, really handy when you're working with succulents. So we have those. Now on to the plants. Um, at the time that I went shopping for the plants, I wasn't entirely sure how big the opening here was and how much space I had for plants. So these are the plants that I got. Um, now because it's winter, su uh, succulents require as I'm sure you know, an extremely high amount of light. <clears throat> so um, most scenarios in most people's homes in Canada in December, January, um, it's harder to, to get the light that succulents require. So the way we can kind of combat that, um, for the time being at least, is to buy succulents that can withstand or survive in a little bit lower light conditions and still be okay. So um, when you're trying to pick plants for a little bit of a lower light scenario, you want to look for plants that are more green than colored. I know we all love those gorgeous pinks and blues and purples of the Echeverias and, and that kind of thing, but they're not great unless you have a lot of light. They do require more light than a green succulent would. So now that we know this, let's move on. <laughs> so I did get this guy. Honestly, my succulent game has been really off lately, so I'm not entirely sure 
what these are all called. But here is the first one. I believe it is a type of Echeveria. I don't know what kind. But there is the first one. Very, very cute. <clears throat> here is the second one. You can see that? Oh, if I can hold it towards the camera. There you go. We also have this little rainbow bush, which I think is really, really cute. We have this tiny little topsy-turvy Echeveria. And we have a string of dolphins. <clears throat> so if you watch Laura um, from Garden Answer, she creates the most stunning succulent arrangements like I watch her videos and I'm just like like I don't know how she does it they are just beautiful so Laura's thing is when you create a succulent planter you want to hit three key things you need to have um, a filler a spiller and a thriller so for me this is obviously obviously this is obviously going to be my spiller I'm only going to use a portion of this obviously this is quite large um, but I killed mine so I'm gonna take half of it <laughs> thanks um, and then this one once it grows in is going to going to be more of a vertical element so this is kind of going to be my thriller because it does have these gorgeous pink stems and depending on how I can make out, because again, the opening of this is quite small, um, a combination of these three will be my fillers. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is put these rocks in the bottom. I'm going to apologize in advance because it's going to be loud. Um, I'm only going to put a small layer at the bottom. Um, the fortunate part is, is that most succulents don't have a very substantial or long root system. They are quite shallow. Uh, the reason for that, obviously, is because in the desert, um, there is so minimal water, and that's where succulents come from. Sorry, most succulents. And so their roots need to be closer to the surface. Um, of the ground in order to get the most um, moisture out of the soil. If the roots are too deep, the water doesn't penetrate, especially because the ground is really hard. You see where I'm going with this? Okay. So, I've got, that's probably okay. I'll show you if I can. Not a whole lot. All right, so we'll set that aside. Now, I have my cactus and succulent soil here. So I will show you what that's got in it. So in here I have um, a mixture of um, regular potting soil, perlite. Um, I think there might be actually a little, little pieces of bark in here and uh, some sand. Um, so succulents, because they are succulents, retain a lot of water. So you want a soil that literally drains through quickly and uh, extremely easily. So that is what I have designed this soil to do. And so that is the soil we're going to use today. I'm going to take my rings off because we're about to get messy. Okay. Hold on. All right. Well, I should have got a bigger spoon. Well, I'm gonna get a bigger spoon. This is gonna take me three hours. Much better. All right. Um, I've actually never done a succulent planter with this small of an opening where I had to kind of squeeze a lot in here. So I myself am interested to see how this is going to end up uh, looking. I will do the best I can to get as much in there as possible.
So we're just going to fill it up actually as much as possible at first because it will pack down a little bit and also um, I'm not going to have, once I get these succulents in here, I'm really not going to have that much uh, room to add any additional soil. So I think that that's probably okay. We'll see how that goes. So let me just set this aside. Okay. Whew. The moment of truth, folks. This is it. Um, I think maybe what I'd like to do first is to put in the spiller because <clears throat> that one I can kind of move out of the way a little bit to adjust the fillers around it. So I think we'll start there. So I'm going to set that over here and get this guy. And let's just take him out of the pot and see if we can break him up. I'm sure that there's multiple strings in here. So we should be able to pull some apart to get what we want. I hope. Oh, there's one. Okay. And the worst sound ever is roots ripping, I swear. But you know, when you're doing stuff like this, it's kind of unavoidable. Okay, let's see how that one looks. Oh boy. Is that gonna be? I think that'll be good. I think I'll get one more. Small one. Yes. What? Oh. Oh boy. Okay. It, all right. I think we're good. <laughs> and I've already made a mess. Shocker. All right. So we have to create a space for these plants. I don't know. I think I'll just make this the front and I'm going to kind of put the spiller kind of off to the side. So it sort of comes down. Um, I think it's a little bit more of like an artistic -y type touch rather than just being very symmetrical. Um, so I'm just trying to spread some of the soil out of the way. And because it is so dry, it's difficult because it just falls back <laughs> to the hole. Um, okay, so we're going to stick all of these together. All right. I'm going to put them down in there. You just have to be careful when working with these guys. You don't want to put too, too much pressure because they will snap and they actually snap quite easily. All right, so I think, I think that's good. We've got them in there nice. I'm just trying to pack some soil in and around behind and then I will show you guys what it looks like. Now, as these grow, these will obviously start to, you know, dangle over and she'll be able to cut pieces off and propagate and give them to other friends, etc. Um, any of the Senecios, so string of pearls, string of dolphins, string of bananas, so on and so forth, are actually really, really easy to propagate. Cut them off, pop a couple dolphins off, stick it in some water, it'll root in literally no time. Okay, so this is what we're looking at so far. Oops, there you go. I don't know if you can see that very well. All right. So that is our spiller. Now, things get interesting. I think I will throw in um, this guy at the back, which will be like 
here, maybe right here actually. Um, once this guy starts to grow, it will get quite tall, so it'll be a nice like little backdrop for the rest of the plants in here. So let's go ahead and get that one out. I think I'm just going to use the tall ones for that. Okay, we've got our plants ready. We're going to dig ourselves a little hole. So glad I brought those tools for digging holes. <laughs> oh, that's a big rock that I don't want in there. That okay, there is the first one. I'm just gonna get these seated in here first. I think I might have to dig that down a little further. There we go. <clears throat> These are also plants that snap really easily. So we want to make sure that you're kind of gentle because if you snap them like here, you're done for. <laughs> All right. Okay. going to use some of this soil to try to pack some of these in here. This is where these tools that I'm not using would come in handy, but honestly, I like to use my hands because then I can feel what I'm touching. When you're using a tool and you're poking down in here, it's really easy to cut through roots or stems and not even realize it until it's far too late. getting there. All right, so this is what we've got so far. I've never worked with a planter this small, so it's challenging. But that's what I like. I like a challenge. So as long as this challenge goes well, I like a challenge. If it goes sideways, it's not going to be my favorite. Okay, so the next plant we are going to put in here let me see. These are the three that we have to choose from. I I like that on that corner. Okay, let's start there. So this is where this little tool kind of comes in handy. And what we want to do, because now we're getting to the point where there's not a whole lot of room in here. So I'm going to take this out and you want to get as much of the dirt off as possible to create um, the most narrow root possible to get down into this hole that we're going to dig. If that makes any sense. Now this succulent is a little dry. So without doing too much damage. Although, having said that, succulents um, are extremely easy to reroot. So if I do rip a lot of these roots off, which I'm really trying not to, but if that happens, um, they will regrow. It's not a crazy big deal. And truthfully, um, I could probably rip all of the leaves off, or the roots off and stick it down in the soil and it will just regrow new roots. Um, as long as you don't water it right away. You don't want to leave any open wounds for too much moisture to get into because it'll just rot the plant really quickly. Okay, so there he is. Now, 
This is the tricky part, folks. Oh, and I'm going to knock you over. You just stay over there. All right. So I'm just using this to kind of dig a little hole in here, and I kind of want it sitting on an angle. So I'm just using this and kind of putting it in sideways so that it creates a little sideways space for the roots to sit. Now, while you're doing this, if, for example, I decided that this succulent was a little bit too big or some of these leaves on the side just aren't working for me, you can just kind of like wiggle them off and set it aside, let it dry out for a couple days, throw it on some soil and give it a water or a, like a, a good spraying and it will actually reroot. And that's the easiest way to propagate succulents. They are like the best plant in there. Hi, baby. Hello, did you come to say hi? Hi. Oh, yeah, okay, yep, yeah, hi. Eli wants to say hello. Okay, are you gonna sit? No, can you sit? Okay, thank you. Can I have a high five? What a good boy. All right, mommy's gotta finish the video. All right, so this will look a little bit more of on an angle once I get the other succulents in there and it kind of will prop it up. But I think that's good for now. So here is what we're looking at so far. I don't know if you can see, I don't want to tip it too much, <laughs> but that is what we're looking at so far. Are you trying to get your bone? Is it stuck? Hold on. Here you go. Take it and go. Take it and go. Oh, good boy. Hopefully that sound isn't too loud. Okay, next. I think we can actually fit all three of these in here, so I'm kind of excited about that. So I think the next one that I want to put in is this guy on this side. Um, and I'm going to tuck it kind of in here and then put this little topsy-turvy right in here. That's the plan. Okay. This guy feels like he's got some moisture. Oh. <laughs> yep. Tell me there's no spider there. Tell me it's a hair. If you know me, you'll know that I am terrified of spiders. This is a really, really pretty succulent. Um, I'll try to get it up close. It's, it's nice and it's very tight and it has these really pretty, that is a, what, that's a stick. I thought it was a root, it's a stick. Um, it has these really pretty red um, outlines or margins, I guess you want to call them on the outside of the petals, or leaves, I guess they are. They look like petals. This one has some serious roots. Oh boy. I'll try to get as much of this off as I can. It is also really wet, which I'm not super crazy about. But the succulent is in really good health. I might actually pop off a couple of these bottom leaves because they do look a little waterlogged or not waterlogged, but just a little damaged. And I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. I'm trying to get a lot of this off. Give it a little shake. Okay. So there is the bottom. You can see a couple of the leaves there are just a little yellowy. So what we want to do is I don't. There's one in here that's a little deadish, so I'm just going to take that one off. This one's a little wiggly, so I'm hoping that you can see that from here, but what I'm doing is just taking the leaf, wiggling it back and forth. So that is a clean break, so that leaf can be propagated and I can make a whole new plant. Um, the fun part about succulents. Ooh. 
And again, I'm going to do it with this one, just a little wiggle. Just trying to create a little bit more of um, a narrow I don't know, a narrow <laughs> part so that I can stick it down in here. I think that's probably okay. It's a little chunkier. So let's, I'm gonna turn this and hopefully you can see. I need to get one of those little overhead cameras. <laughs> Baby steps. All right, so with this one, I'm gonna do the same thing, but on this side. So I'm just gonna kind of swirl it around down in here and create a space for this little root ball. And I think that looks okay. And actually, this might be okay with just this in there. I'm not sure that I can fit that other one in. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm going to try using this and get a little bit more soil down in the middle. Um, don't worry about getting soil on the leaves. We have the little brush and the little that we can get that off with later. Just be really, really gentle while you're pushing down in there because these leaves snap off so easily. It's kind of difficult to get everything <laughs> fitted down there. It's one of those things that you just kind of have to have patience with and uh, got to take your time and do it slowly because you don't want to snap anything off and it would just kind of like ruin the look of the whole arrangement, you know? Okay, so you can just kind of adjust things however you want them. And I am pretty satisfied with how that looks, actually. Um, once these little, this little rainbow bush gets a little bit bigger, it'll get tall and it will kind of spill a little bit as well. But it does, for now, pardon me, um, give that little bit more of a height element. Although, I'm wondering if this leaf... I might stick something in the back here just to kind of push those up a little bit so let's let's see what I can do here maybe some more soil on this side it's just kind of like a trial and error thing and just oh yeah, try not to throw soil on your pants <laughs> all right well, we're getting somewhere we're starting to stay up a little straighter. So again, I will say this is not a long term sort of planter. Um, if you want to keep your succulents alive for like a long run, um, it's definitely possible. I mean, they don't have to just be like a gift that you give. It lasts for, you know, a couple months and then dies. Like it is very, very easy to keep these alive if you know how to keep them alive. Okay, that gives us a little height. So I think that'll be okay. Now these are also going to grow and so this will get filled in a little bit more. So really by the spring, she's really gonna wanna just kind of deconstruct this. And um, you know, they can be planted in their own little separate planters if you like that look. Um, I personally have a whole bunch of single succulents planted in terracotta pots in my windowsill in my kitchen and I really kind of like how that looks. You can kind of see the individual plants on their own. Um, so or you can find yourself a 
um, nice pot with drainage. There's some actually really cool um, options for succulent planters now that do have drainage. Um, so my recommendation would definitely be to go for one of those. And I'm sorry, little topsy-turvy, we can't fit you in there. Okay, so now it's basically just coming down to getting things cleaned up. Um, I'm actually thinking I'm gonna... This doesn't always work for me. I try the best I can to get this, but if there's any moisture on the leaves at all, that soil just sticks to them. But you can kind of go in first with this and get all the loose stuff. And then while you're at that, blow all of the soil that you have on your table onto the floor. Especially if you're doing a planter like this for someone else, you want to make sure that it looks nice and clean. Um, it just gives it a more polished, finished look. A little bit more professional than, you know, having soil sitting all over the place. And especially because... Um, she's giving this as a gift. I want to make sure that it is nice and clean and professional looking. There's a piece of soil stuck in here. I'll try to get that out. There we go. That also works. This is the most time consuming part. Just cleaning up and making it look polished. Ah. Of course, with these ceramic pots, too, I find soil, uh, especially anything that's peaty at all, really sticks to these pots. I'm flinging dolphins. Just want this to kind of, oh, sorry little dolphin, kind of separate a little without ruining everything. There we go. Um, if you want, and I might do it later, is just run a damp cloth around the rim of that just to get all the little extra pieces. But I think for now that looks pretty good. And uh, those will all get nicely nestled in there and root. So this is the finished product. We have our spiller. We have our thriller, which will get bigger and fill itself in. And then we have our fillers. All right. Well, I will get everything cleaned up and then I will give you guys a look at, um, you know, everything from the top and that kind of thing so you can see what that ends up looking like. If you have any questions about succulents or planters or anything like that, please feel free to go ahead and throw it in the comments. Also, um, if you have any video di ideas or anything that you would like uh, to see or like me to do, um, by all means, let me know. I am always open to suggestions. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. And uh, I love you all to bitty bits. Have a great day, night, week, month, and year. And I will see you in the next one. Mwah!